So today we are going to jump into a TikTok from a lady um, talking about fat people's rights and equal rights and how they are treated. This is from, she's American, so it's an American's point of view, so I don't know everything that goes on in America, um, but I will just give my point of view as I see it um, from what she's saying. So please give me your comments, let me know what you think, and please like and subscribe, and let's jump into the clip. The idea that fat people are promoting obesity is nonsense. Promoting obesity is not a real thing and it never has been. There are no multi-million dollar marketing campaigns telling thin people to get fat quick or a $72.7 billion weight gain industry in the United States alone, or government-funded initiatives aimed at eliminating the existence of thin people, or messages to thin people that if they can never be fat, then their life isn't worth living. But all of those things do exist in reverse for fat people. The entire concept of promoting obesity is a myth that's used to silence fat people when we advocate for the basic human rights we're so often denied, like equal access to health insurance, life insurance, medical care, employment, education, travel, clothing, or just basic happiness and freedom from living in shame and abuse. The only things we are promoting are kindness, respect, and equality. Fat people have always deserved equal rights and ethical treatment. The only difference is that now we're saying that out loud. Okay, let's break this down. So first off, um, she's talking as though fat people are a race. So, like, <laughs> she said in part of that uh, about the government trying to aren't um, trying to wipe out thin people. It's not genocide. They're not trying to kill you. They're trying to make you thinner or less fat. Um, so she then goes on to talk about, so that whole first bit was all about how the government and there's these big weight loss programs and the government are trying to make everyone slimmer and everything else. I think there's a reason behind that, which we'll get to in a second. She then goes on to say about, um, the fact of medical care and health insurance and they're not treated the same as thin people. Well, this is sort of the same reason that we have at the beginning because, as we know, it's scientific fact that people that are overweight have more health problems in general. They have more health problems, they need more med medical care, they need more treatment, so therefore their insurance would be different. The same is if someone had a, some other problem you know, maybe they smoke, for instance. Their health insurance will be more because they smoke, which then inherently causes health issues. That's just, you know, the same probably with someone that drinks way too much alcohol. You know, if, if they declared that, then that's surely going to reflect on their, ins their health insurance and, and medical care and treatment. Um, the same way as, I mean, our government in the UK especially tries to help people stop smoking. It's not a genocide against people that smoke. It's just we want to try and make people healthier. It's less burden on our NHS. The same as we're trying to help people become slimmer, healthier, less burden on our NHS. Um, and hopefully, you know, it's great if people that are overweight are happy within themselves. You know, mental health is very important. But I think I've found in my brief history on this earth, in my experience, that people that are overweight are generally not happy about it. So hopefully by helping them lose weight, they become more confident, they become happier in themselves, then their mental health is better. I mean, I'm sure that people will come back and say the reason they're not happy in themselves is because of the fashion industry and everything else making everyone seem like they've got to be slim. But I'm not sure that's the case. I think we can all look and, and, and see. I do think that, that that doesn't help with mental health. And I do agree with that. But I do believe that generally people don't want to be overweight. Generally. Um, I think people will accept it and are happy to live with it. But I think generally people don't want to be. They, if, they, if they could have the option of looking like Chris Hemsworth or Fat Four, they're probably going to go for Chris Hemsworth when he's buffed up and ripped up and that's just life and society that we live in um, and the bottom line is that if you're overweight 
it is definitely unhealthier. Now, I don't know about the travel and the education. I'm not sure why that's a problem. Obviously, clothing, I can understand. Maybe there's not as many options in clothing and stuff like that um, for people that are overweight. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I've got the complete wrong end of the stick, but from where I'm sitting, it's pretty clear. It's, it's, it's not that much of... Uh, like the reasons seem clear of why the government's doing what they're doing and why your insurance is more expensive. I mean, maybe you can tell me a, a, another reason or, or some discriminatory reason why. Um, let me know in the comments and we'll have a discussion about it. See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.